Hey coders, what's up? It's Chris here and today we're going to look at Firebase. Firebase is a backend as a service and that allows you very, very easily to give your app database capabilities. So if you ever wanted to do something with your app like user accounts or you wanted to store data on the cloud in a database, uh, Firebase will allow you to do that very easily without having to set up your own servers and manage your own servers. In this particular lesson, we're going to sign up for a Firebase account and then we're going to integrate the Firebase libraries into our Xcode project using CocoaPods. So Google actually owns Firebase, which is why the sign up button, uh, you need a Google account. If you don't have one, it's going to go and prompt you to either log in with a Google account or sign up for one. So I've already done that. I'm going to click sign up with Google anyways, and it's going to detect that um, I'm already logged in. So after you sign up for an account and you get logged in, you're looking at your Firebase dashboard. By default, they're going to create an app for you right here. Notice that there is this URL here and this Firebase URL is going to be very important because that's going to identify this particular database that we want to write and read data from. We're not going to jump into the dashboard for this app yet. What I want to do is go into quick starts and I'm going to choose iOS here. And then this is going to show us how to install their SDK with CocoaPods. So there's also a video up here if you want to watch the video instead. What we're going to do is open up Xcode and create a single view application first. Okay, so let's create a new Xcode project. And I'm just going to choose single view application here. I'm going to call it the Firebase demo. Make sure that the language is Swift and device is iPhone and we're not using any of those features. I'm just going to save it in my desktop. And now that we've created our Xcode project, we're going to have to close it because we're going to install the CocoaPod. So first of all, in my project directory, I don't have a pod file. So I'm going to have to create a pod file so that I can specify that I want to install the Firebase CocoaPod. Now, if you don't know what CocoaPods is, then check out the video in the upper right hand corner right here, and it's gonna open up a new window and show you how to set up CocoaPods on your machine so that you can easily install Firebase. So with that said, I'm going to jump into terminal, I'm pressing command space bar and typing in terminal. And I'm gonna to navigate to my project directory. So let's see where we're at right here. Uh, we're at my home folder, I'm gonna type CD desktop to go into the desktop folder and then CD Firebase I'm going to press tab and it's going to auto complete that folder name for me and so there I am I'm going to type in pod space init and that's going to create the pod file as you can see here and then I'm just going to right click I'm going to open that with my text editor sublime text and then what we can do is follow this and oh, there's a handy copy button right there. Okay, we're going to copy that and paste that between the target and the end. And that just specifies that we're going to want the Firebase pod. I'm going to press Command S to save it. And now we're going to go back to terminal and we're going to type pod space install. So that's going to go ahead and grab the Firebase libraries and pull them down. Let's go back to the documentation for a little bit. Okay, so we didn't we didn't follow these instructions here. Actually, this one was opening the pod file in Xcode. So instead of opening the pod file in your text editor, you can open it up in Xcode by typing this command in terminal. So that's alternatively, you can do that. So we ran the pod install command. And here through terminal, you can type open and then Firebase demo XE workspace to open that. But we're just going to see if that's complete. Okay, it's still going. It might take a while. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's check back on that in a little while. So all we have to do in Swift is we're going to have to import Firebase before we use the Firebase classes. And reading and writing data is pretty simple. Keep in mind there's a toggle right here between Objective-C and Swift. And for Swift, we're going to do something like this. So we have to create a reference to the database by creating a new Firebase object and passing in this URL. So this one was the one that you saw in the dashboard for our app. It points, uh, it points to the database where we're going to read and write data. And then very simply, to write data, all you have to do is call set value on the database. So in this lesson, we're not actually going to do that yet. 
uh, we're just going to finish installing the CocoaPod and we're going to import Firebase. There, it's done. Let's open up our project directory, XC workspace. And at this point, I like to press Command B to build the project just to make sure that nothing's wrong. It's going to compile the Firebase libraries as well. All right, that's awesome. So here in the view controller, if we wanted to connect to the database, we would import Firebase here, and then we would follow those instructions to write some data. So we're going to do that in the next lesson. Now I'm also going to show you how you can centralize all of those database writing and reading statements so that you're not connecting to the Firebase database and reading and writing data all over the place. It's going to be really messy and hard to keep track of. So we're probably going to want to create a database manager or something like that, a new class. That's going to encapsulate all of those methods that interact with the database. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Talk to you guys later. Bye.